Okay, so good afternoon. It's Wednesday, the 2nd of December 2020, and I'm doing this short video to explain to my viewers what is happening with respect to the amendments to the Public Procurement and Disposal of Public Property Act. That is a very important law that was passed in our country and if, as Act Number 1 of 2015 to control transactions in public money and to control disposals of public property. It's been amended twice by the current administration during 2016 and 2017 and the procurement body has been appointed. It's a very important law and we are now contemplating a situation where on Monday night after 10 o'clock I received for the first time a note <clears throat> Of the proposed item to be laid in Parliament for debate on Friday the 4th of December 2020 and there are three things arising that I want to bring to viewers there are many other little amendments I want to bring three things to viewers attention the first <clears throat> is that the fundamental law Act number one of 2015 was passed by means of a special majority because it infringed on certain constitutional rights. The special majority provision is for three-fifths of the votes and that is what was used to pass the first act. The two amendments I mentioned done by the PNM in 2016 and 2017 were both passed with opposition support. Yet the amendments that are now tabled for debate in the House of Parliament on Friday the 4th of December we have word from the leader of government business in this morning's news day, Camille Robinson Regis, who's an attorney at law by profession, telling the newspaper that these are simple amendments and we don't need a special majority. So the first question is, <clears throat> is that true? Can you change a law which required a special majority to come into being in the first place? Can you change a law like that? by only by exercise of a simple majority. So that's the first question. The other two issues I wish to bring to viewers are the actual changes being proposed and there are two of them I object to very strongly. The first one is that section seven subsection two is being amended to effectively exclude government to government arrangements from the public procurement and disposal of Public Property Act and I think that is wrong they are huge our country does not have a good track record of them and they need to be under proper transparent modern effective oversight I am totally objecting to that the second change which is proposed is that in fact a subsection number five has been inserted and number six have been inserted into section seven of the act and subsection five says that in fact the act doesn't apply to any legal services, any accounting or audit services, any financial services that are used by public bodies or by publicly controlled bodies. And of course, there's also a catch-all that says that the minister can actually add things to that list by means of a ministerial order. Now, there are two objections to that second one. The first objection is that the way public-private partnerships are currently narrated to the public is that they are narrated as being financial arrangements and if public private partnerships are described as being financial arrangements in the current political discourse it isn't a big jump to imagine that if this amendment is approved by parliament we will find that public private partnerships are described as a type of financial service and therefore exempt from the provisions of the act the second objection to that amendment is really regarding a question of irreconcilable incompatibility. We have an act that is designed to control transactions in public money, yet we have been explicitly told in this proposed amendment that the act will not concern financial services, it will not concern accounting or auditing, and it will not concern legal services. So how can we have an act that controls transactions in public money that does not oversee cases where financial services are used by public bodies. So I think there's a real serious issue to be dealt with here. 
and I'm totally opposed to that. I have another video coming out shortly, and in that one, I'll be giving a worked example using the Ministry of Education new headquarters building, the sod for which was turned last week by Dr. Rowley, and so on. Thank you very much for your attention. My work is at afroraymond.net. Thank you.